Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. Uh, feel free to let me know if the microphone quality sounds any better. We're testing out a new microphone. This is a Rode mic, so really excited to hopefully finally be able to use a microphone that works with our computer. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into our screen. As you guys can see right on over here, uh, NVIDIA is up 15%. Um, the thing that I'm really beginning to see, and you guys let me know down in the comment section, is this the resistance that we're going to see for NVIDIA as it continues to trade sideways. It lacks progress beyond this point, which to me is like highlighting the idea of this thing potentially pulling on back um, as it's no longer showing signs of higher highs and higher lows. The other thing that I want to point out is I'm paying attention to a handful of different stocks that gapped up just because of NVIDIA, right? Um, this, this, part cracks me up and please let me know down in the comment section. A lot of people like to say that SMCI is not an overhyped company. Well, first off, the only reason that it's up is because Nvidia is up, right? And it has to do with AI. Nvidia is up 15% and rightfully so. Nvidia exceeded expectations while when it came down to its earnings. It it earned the overreaction or the hype that it's getting. Uh, like that makes complete sense. SMCI to me is a BS company that is AI focused, but is running off of the hype of everything and all AI. Uh, they even announced an offering, just perfect timing as Nvidia uh, exceeded its expectations for earnings. So it's just perfect time, right? It's up 25% on the day. And as you can see, this stock is up 25%, yet it's Nvidia that reported the better than expected earnings. So Nvidia earned it 15%, but SMCI is up 25%. Again, super overhyped, super overvalued. And based off of the recent pullbacks that we've seen, we saw it go from $1,000 a share all the way down to sub 700 at one point. So now my question is, is it wrong for me to be interested in potentially shorting this kind of stock once we get confirmation of it actively selling off. As of right now, it's still an active uptrend as Nvidia is not actively selling off either. But the thing that I'm gonna be pay paying very close attention to is if Nvidia begins selling off, how is SMCI going to take it? Just like it overreacted on the way up, is it going to overreact on the way down? That is the question that I am asking myself. Other than that, again, also TQQQ, uh, which is the overall NASDAQ ETF, as you can see right on over here, we have QQQ um, showing signs of progress, higher highs and higher lows, uh, but it's not progressing much from where we were at uh, from when the market opened. This was a big gap up that happened after market hours. Um, so from by the time the market opened to where we're at right now, there's been very little progress. So this is just, again, another thing that I'm making you guys aware of that if you view the market to be too overbought, just understand that you don't have to jump in. You can if you see direction and your criteria to be met, but you don't have to, especially um, if you see more downside potential versus upside risk. Um, other than that, again, the handful of different companies that were reporting earnings yesterday uh, were NVIDIA, but then it was also Rivian and Lucid. I don't know if you guys paid attention to those two, but they're not doing too hot. Lucid is down nearly 18% on the day after reporting earnings. It's not going to surprise me in the next few days if they have to announce a reverse stock split because now they are trading under $5 a share, which to my understanding is a NASDAQ requirement, or they'll potentially get delisted from the you know, stock exchange. So, uh, and, and be converted into pink sheet stocks. So I don't see that likely to, uh, for lucid. I hope not. Uh, so most likely they're going to announce like a 10, a 10 to one or a 20 to one reverse stock split in the next few days. It wouldn't surprise me when it comes down to that because, um, and, and, we, and if you guys don't know what a reverse stock split is, let me know. Uh, and I can make a video on it, but we also have Rivian. Rivian stock reported earnings down 25, almost 26%. And this is after a bounce at $11 per share. So it looks like the EV competitors for Tesla are not doing too hot. Um, and, literally lost a quarter of its market cap valuation. That is a tough, tough day to be 
an EV holder with Rivian and with Lucid. But again, we'll have to follow up. So um, I appreciate you guys' time. Again, I'll keep you guys up to date on the series of different stocks that are set to report earnings. Today, after market hours, we have Block, previously known as SQ, uh, reporting earnings. And then we also have Carvana that is set to report earnings after the market closes today. So I appreciate you guys' time. I hope that earned a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section, do you think that Nvidia stock is a good buy right now? Or do you think that it's overvalued and that it's only a matter of time for it to correct itself? So let me know down in the comment section. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.